is an entrepreneur, a best-selling author, and Asia's number one success coach. A self-made millionaire by the age of 26, Adam was ranked among the top 1% of academic achievers at the National University of Singapore and was a pioneer in the university's gifted program. For the last 12 years, he has coached and trained over half a million people in seven countries to achieve peak performance in their lives. He is the creator of life transformational programs such as the I Am Gifted program for students and the Patterns of Excellence that empowers working professionals to be among the best in their fields. As a highly successful investor and businessman, he created the Wealth Academy and Millionaire Business Academy to coach individuals to achieve financial success. Adam has helped over 55,000 students to score distinctions in school and develop stronger relationships with their parents. He also trains more than 800 teachers a year in brain-based teaching and classroom management. He has coached top sales professionals, entrepreneurs to turn around their business and even former bankrupts who have achieved financial freedom. He has worked with over 170 schools, universities, multinational corporations and government ministries in the area of leadership, organizational turnaround and the psychology of success. In 2007, Adam was ranked among the top 25 richest Singaporeans under the age of 40. And in 2008, he was conferred the NUS Business School Eminent Alumni Award for being one of Singapore's top business leaders. Adam has authored 10 best-selling books that include I Am Gifted, So Are You, How to Multiply Your Child's Intelligence, Master Your Mind, Design Your Destiny, Secrets of Self-Made Millionaire, Secrets of Millionaire Investors, Clueless in starting a business. Nurturing the winner and genius in your child. Secrets of building multi-million dollar businesses. And profit from the panic. His books have been translated into over five different languages and have consistently dominated the national bestsellers list for the last eight years. His achievements have been consistently featured in every media like The Straits Times, The Business Times, The New Paper, Today, News Radio 938, Channel 8, Channel U, Channel News Asia, The Hindu, The Star, Compass and Young Parents. And now, here to share with you his strategies and insights, Mr. Adam Koo. I have to share with you a lot of powerful strategies I've learned over the years on how do you bring out the best in yourself, how do you bring out your fullest potential, and how do you build a very successful business for yourself. Here's some of the facts. See, everywhere you go in the United States or in Singapore or in Malaysia or in China or even in Vietnam, if you look at the facts, it says this, 40% of businesses fail within the first year. Of 10 companies that start, four will fail within the first year. And 80% of businesses fail within the first five years. These are national statistics, Singapore, United States, everywhere in the world, okay? And 90% of businesses fail within the first 10 years. 
And less than 10% of businesses succeed beyond 10 years. Less than 10%. And less than 1% of businesses become multi-million dollar businesses. They become international businesses, less than 1%. Okay? So, the question is, what is the difference that makes the difference? What's the difference between the 1% and 99%? What's the difference between the 10% that succeeds and 90% that fails? What's the difference? Yeah? So I'd like to ask some of you what you think is the difference. Okay? First of all, is the difference... Is the difference in education... Does that make a difference? So people who succeed in business, is it because they go to better universities? Yes or no? How many of you say yes? Who says no? You're right, it's no. Although education is very important, it's very important to go to a good university, it is important, but it's not enough. I know people who have got master's degrees from Harvard who fail in business. I know people who have got more degrees who succeed in business, right? That's right. Now, has it got to do with luck? Has it got to do with luck? Yes. <laughs> How many of you say yes? How many of you say no? Okay? I will say yes and no. You see, I believe there are two kinds of luck. That's what we call gambling luck. Gambling luck. Some people have gambling luck. When they go to a casino, they win all the time. Some people have got no gambling luck. Every time they gamble, they lose. Let me tell you something about myself. I've got no gambling luck. Every time I go to the casino, I gamble, I lose money. So I never gamble. I don't have that kind of luck. Some people have it, I don't have it. But it's another kind of luck, we call it business luck. Business luck is different. Business luck is not something you're born with. It's not something that you have. It's something that you do. And in business luck, the harder you work, the more luck you will have. The harder you work, the more luck you have. Okay, and that we can control. Now, has it got to do, has it got to do with um, this thing called, let's say, your intelligence? Has it got to do with intelligence? Yes? I would say yes. I would say no. Yeah? Good news is intelligence can be learned. The more you learn, the more intelligent you become. Okay? At the end of the day, these are not the most important things. The most important thing that makes a difference is two things. Are two things. The first thing is what we call the mindset. Right? Now let's say it together so we remember it, okay? Everyone, let's say the word. Let me put it up here for a while. I really need those for jumbo markets. <laughs> Everyone say the word mindset. mindset. One more time. Mindset. mindset. Okay. Now, what is the what is the meaning of mindset? What's mindset? Is the way your mind is set. Is the way you think. Is the beliefs you have. Your attitudes. Your values. All right. And the second thing that's very important. Can we go to the presentation? We need to go to the presentation. Okay, and the second thing is what we call the skill set. Skill set. Yeah, everyone say the word skill set. Skillset. One more time, skill set. Skillset. So skill set means you need to have the knowledge. Thank you. I have to wait for a bit of delay, right? We need to have the knowledge and the skills. For example, the skill of finance, the skill of marketing, the skill of building an operation system. These are the knowledge and the skills. Yeah? Now, they are both important. Which one do you think is more important? Let's do a vote. How can we say the mindset is more important? Who says the skill set? Great. Now, they are both important. Thank you. They are both important, right? But I would say if you compare both together, I would say mindset accounts for 70% of a person's success. And a skill set accounts for 30% of a person's success. Why? Why? Because it's from the mindset that we get our motivation. It's from the mindset we get the confidence. 
It's from the mindset we get the determination. See, I've seen many people who go to the same school. I've seen many people, they go to the same university like Harvard or like Yale. I know two people who have the same knowledge. But after five years, they produce very different results. One person is very successful, business expands internationally. Another person, the business fails. Why? They got the same skill set, they got the same knowledge, right? The difference was the mindset. See, the person who succeeded, he had the motivation where every day he applied what he was supposed to do. He took action every single day. The other person was lazy, right? Now, we know that business, will we fall down sometimes? Will we face rejection? But people who succeed, when they fall down, they got the determination to get up again and again and again and again. They never quit until they succeed. Uh, the other person, with the same knowledge, the moment they fail one time or two times, they quit. They give up. And so the mindset is more important than the skill set. Can we go back to the presentation? Presentation. Okay, so what's going to happen today is this. Before lunch, I'm going to focus on a mindset. I'm going to focus on a mindset this morning. And after lunch, we're going to focus on the skill set. They are both important, right? But we talk about mindset first because when we have the right mindset and we learn the skill set, we're going to use it. If we don't have the right mindset, with all the skills, all the books you read, all the seminars you attend, is useless. So let's focus on the mindset. Now, why is mindset important? Let's take a look. You see, we all want to get fantastic results. In the business world, results are measured by money, sales and profits, right? Great. Now, why do different people get different results? It's because all of us take different actions. Okay, the actions we take, the decisions we make, affects the results. Okay, now can we all say the word actions? Okay, everyone say actions. Action. Thank you. Action, okay? Action, thank you. <clears throat> now, does everyone take the same actions? No. Two people can be in the same situation. They take very different actions. Give you an example. Two years ago, Two years ago was a financial crisis, right? It was a recession. And in Singapore, all businesses were affected by the recession. Did all the business people take the same action? No. Some business people, during the recession, what did they do? They cut prices, right? They cut their costs, they fired people. And they say, oh my God, all right, we're gonna die. And they just complain and they hope that the recession will end. That's all they did. That's the first group. Then the second group of business owners, when the financial crisis came and the customers dropped, they did not lower their prices. They maintained they thought of all kinds of ways to promote and to market their services. So they changed their strategy. They went to internet marketing. They used Facebook. They used blogs. How can I find a way to do it? When other people have not done it, I can find a way to do it. So some people think of impossibility. Everything is impossible, it cannot be done. They never do it. But some people always think of possibilities. They always think of what can be done. Very different mindset, right? Some people, when they look at something, it's always a problem. It's always a problem, right? Other people, when they look at something, it's not a problem, it's an offer. It's an opportunity. Okay, let me tell you a little story. Can I tell you a story? Yeah? So here's a little story about a company that sells bras. You know bras? Bras. Okay, for women, bras. Okay? And this company, let's call it Triumph. Yeah, it's a company that sells bras. And they sell bras all over the world where there's a lot of competition. Okay? So one day, the marketing president of the company says, hey, we want to go to a new market where our competitors are not there yet so we can get a good market share to sell our bras. So he was looking at the map of the world thinking which country can we go to where there's opportunity, all right? New market to sell bras 
I was competitive and all that. Where can we go to? And he looked at the map, looked at the map, looked at the map. And he said, hey, there's this country, it's called Africa. Africa? And he said, in Africa, there's this small place in Africa that is very underdeveloped. It's a very uh, backward tribe place. And he says, hey, maybe we can go there and we can sell brass to the people over there. So this man, he calls in two of his salespeople. Okay? And the first salesperson, he says to him, hey, I want you to go all the way to Africa and to look at the market and see if there's an opportunity to sell brass to the women there. So the first salesperson says, okay. He gets excited, takes the plane all the way to Africa. Lands in Africa. Okay? And he goes around looking at the women. And he gets a shock of his life. His eyes pops out. And he calls his boss. He says, boss, boss. Women in Africa, they don't wear bra. They don't wear clothes. And he tells the boss, boss, there's no opportunity to sell bra because they don't wear bra. But he tells the boss, can I stay for a few more weeks? And the boss says, you come back. <laughs> so he comes back. And the boss thinks, okay, I want to get another opinion. So he calls another salesperson, you come, come, come. I want you to go to Africa to also look at the market, whether we can sell brass. So the second salesperson goes all the way to Africa, takes a the plane there, gets off the plane, looks around, and gets a shock, his eyes pops up. Sees the same thing, right? And he calls the boss. And he says, boss, 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 women in Africa, they don't wear brass. They don't wear clothes. He says, fantastic opportunity. Why? Because we can teach them how to wear bra. And when we teach them how to wear bras, we can sell them all our bra. Right? So what is it? Same situation. One person saw the opportunity, one person saw no opportunity. It's going to do the what? The mindset, right? It's going to do the mindset. So, let's go back to the presentation. Okay. So it's going to do with the mindset. So one more time, everyone say the word mindset. Ah, you can do better than that, come on. Nice. One more time, mindset. mindset. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. You must either say yes or no. Okay, you must either say yes or no. Ready? How many of you believe that right now, right now, you have got the mindset of the top 10%? You have got the mindset of the top 10% of business owners. Okay, how many of you think you don't have the mindset yet, but you want to learn it? You don't have it yet, but you want to learn it. Okay, how many of you do not know whether you have it or you don't have it? You don't know. Okay, great. Now we're going to play a game, a very simple game to find out whether we have that mindset. Alright, you guys ready? We're going to do a little activity. And here's the activity. I need to focus on the camera right now here. Okay. So here's the activity, all right? In a short while, I'd like to invite all of you to stand up in a short while, not yet, all right? And I want you to go and meet, I want you to go and meet, okay, as many people as you can meet. But I want you to meet at least five people. I want you to meet at least five people. How many people? Five. Yes, meet at least five people. And after you finish at least five people, then you grab a seat. Yeah, you got a question? You got a question? No, no. I think they mistranslated. Okay, so let me repeat. Okay, when I say go, stand up, meet at least five people. When you finish at least five people, and you're happy, sit back down. Okay? You guys ready? Ready? Okay, everyone stand up. Everybody stand up. Go meet at least five people. Ready? Ready? Go! Go meet at least five people. Go. Chị để như lúc này đi. Quay như này. Như này quay khó lắm. Everyone had the 
same situation. But did everybody oops did everybody take the same actions? Yes or no? No. Different people took different actions. And they went all over the room, shaking hands, shaking hands, shaking hands, exchanging name cards. They went everywhere, right? But some people, what do they do? They stood up, they looked around, they shake one hand, they shake two hands, three hands, uh, they sit down. Right? Different people took different actions. Why? Because we all have different what? Thoughts. We have different thoughts. Like for example, the moment I said stand up, some people thought, this is a waste of time. This is stupid. And if they thought this way, will they go out and take action? Yes or no? No, they won't. But some people, they stand up and they think, hey, this is not a waste of time. This is an opportunity for me to go out there to network, to meet new people. Because I never know the person